Zach Morris is trash. Principal Belding calls the students into his office to pick a senior class community service project. Zach shows up late because he was stealing a kid's breakfast and sexually harassing his first girl of the day. Tori suggests a teen line where youths can anonymously call in with their problems. The only rules? Never ask a caller for their last name, never ask for their home numbers, and never ask to meet up with them. So naturally, Zach ignores all of that shit immediately. The very first call Zach gets is from a girl he decides must be hot because of her voice. He asks her last name, where she lives, and asks her out on a date. When Zach shows up for the date at the Max on tablecloth day, I guess, because I've never seen tablecloths in this place before or since, he discovers she's in a wheelchair. He handles the situation with class and grace by saying, Whoa! You're in a wheelchair. Zach then asks the thoughtful and sensitive questions. Why didn't you tell me you're in a wheelchair? And do you mind if I ask how it happened? Which are two great questions to ask anyone in a wheelchair the first time you meet them? Melissa tells Zach she was just born this way, and his answer is, I'm really sorry. Zach introduces Melissa to the gang with a casual opener. Melissa's handicapped, but she's really comfortable with it, so let's get over it, okay? When Slater invites Melissa to volunteer at the teen line, Zach tells her she can watch him in action. Presumably the action of trying to coerce more troubled kids who sound hot into meeting up for a cheeseburger and a handjob. Melissa helps a girl with real advice about body image and accepting herself, and Zach remarks, Even though she's handicapped, she gave Kathy perfect advice. Yep, Melissa, that face is the correct response. Zach asks her on another date that she for some reason agrees to. Zach tells the movie theater manager to call the cops on someone who parked in the handicapped space, then complains that Melissa shouldn't have to pay full price for a ticket if she's not even using one of their seats. When the movie starts, he asks the guy in front of Melissa to please slump down because my date is in a wheelchair. Yup, Melissa, once again, that's the right face. Belding tells everyone the bad news that the school budget's been cut, so no more teen line for Zach to prey upon vulnerable peers. But instead of letting this disaster quietly go away, Zach organizes a charity wheelchair basketball game in what looks like the saddest gym of all time. Everything is going, okay, not great, but fine, until Zach gives a speech at the end of the game. I want another round of applause for the real star of today's game, the only one who has to be in a wheelchair all the time, Melissa Donahue. Come on, guys. Melissa face strikes again. Melissa tells Zach he's a jerk, Zach stumbles through a half-assed apology that Melissa accepts, and they kind of suggest they might start dating now. Only we never see Melissa again, so who knows what happened there. Probably fucking killed herself. Let's review. Zach Morris abused his mandatory community service role at an anonymous teen helpline to lure an emotionally vulnerable girl into a date, then proceeded to make her feel bad about being in a wheelchair every single chance he got, including in front of every single person at school. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash. <laughs>